We're so happy to have Chef Mel from Whole Foods in the Kitchen. You always bring us something very exciting that we never thought we'd eat, Chef Mel. <laughs> well, I think more importantly, I bring things that you have never seen before, and the yes. rest of us completely familiar, generally. Oh, yeah, Jerusalem <laughs> something or others. Jerusalem artichokes. Let me cut it so you Everybody can see what it looks like Jerusalem artichoke. Jerusalem artichoke. Is that artichoke. different than a regular artichoke? Okay, well, we have two share. types yeah. of artichokes, right? We have globe artichokes, which are the ones you're familiar that with. That you peel, apart. peel off and eat right. the seeds. This is a Jerusalem artichoke. It looks like it's a potato. It's a root vegetable. It has mm -hmm. a very earthy, chestnutty mm -hmm. taste. Mm -hmm. Full of fiber, really super, super good for you. And what did you do it's with that? delicious. Roasted. I love it. This you is roast part it. of our whole like stem to stern thing that's mm -hmm. going on on the on the uh, salad bar. Because of our expanded salad bars, obviously we've got to fill them with a whole bunch of interesting yes. stuff. Yes. Oh, so yeah. this has got a... Uh, some sunflower seeds, mm -hmm. um, some sunflower sprouts, mm -hmm. and oh. also the Jerusalem artichokes. The other thing that I brought that's part of that whole let's eat everything thing is a fennel salad with apples. I've brought oh. fennel oh, here before mean. and you had never experienced it before, so this will be a refresher for you, Linda. You Thank you, I need fennel. a refresher. I like just fennel. Fennel's kind uh, of Yeah, great. just like fennel, that's just sliced really thin uh -huh. and then marinated. Okay. All right, I'm going to send some down for you ladies. Okay. Yes. So Jerusalem artichokes, fennel, these are all things that we can find in the produce department at Whole Foods easily? Yeah, yeah, these are common garden things. The sun chokes or, or those artichokes, oh, you, you may not always see around. Okay. Do you know what I mean? And like, so often people don't know what to do with them. Yeah. Roast them in the oven. Okay. Well, that is, and they're delicious. Nice, roast they really them in the are. Oven. And that yeah, seems really to be your theory with lots of things right now is just we'll roasting. This. So Thank tell you. us about some of the other things right, you've Right, so this thing that we're making today, oh, this paleo here. bowl, involves <laughs> roasted sweet potatoes. So all I did with these was just dice them, fry them on a sheet pan, roast them in the oven. There's no oil on those at all. Oh, if you're looking okay. at the paleo Dynamite. thing, they use coconut oil, they use macadamia oil. We're oh. getting away from using our vegetable-based oils. Okay. Just because, obviously, if you're using coconut oil or macadamia nut oil, it comes with a protein base. Mm -hmm. oh. So you get some protein. Get some what protein, too. Mm -hmm. um, so the actual dish we're making, which is this beautiful bowl here, features the cauliflower rice. Mm -hmm. Now, this cauliflower rice, I actually just chopped up with my knife. Okay. Oh, <laughs> which you, can, that. Nice. you can actually do that. Like, you know, I don't want anyone to be put off and go, oh, I can't do that. I haven't got a food processor. Get your knife out, get your chopping board out, and run your knife through it. Doesn't matter if it's as pretty. I was going to say, and yeah. every piece does not have to be the perfect size. No, same no, size. the thing is, any like, food shouldn't be perfect. Mm. Well, Chef food, Mel, food should be. Mine imperfect. never is, so I'm glad to hear you I say that. I mess up with cauliflower rice because I, I don't know if I cook it too long, it gets very watery. Yes. Yeah. That's oh, the thing. yeah, good point. Well, and that's another thing about if you buy it like frozen or stuff like that, then you're dealing with water content and it's going to be more difficult. So mm -hmm. you chopped this and then you just put it on a roasting pan? I chopped this and just did it in a pan like that with a tiny bit of water. So oh, the okay. coloration you're seeing on there is from it being slightly caramelized from the pan. I mean, it okay. looks like brown rice. Oh, so right? it's the theory, use as little water as possible so you yes. don't get mush. Well, and also, what I would suggest is, like, just don't be gentle with it. Like, I mean, if you stick it, like, in too much water, it's going to go mm -hmm. to mush. Mm -hmm. And I've actually, because I chopped it by hand, it's slightly bigger pieces, mm -hmm. and then you've got less chance of it doing that. Okay, okay. And then the same thing with the kale. Yeah, tell us how you cut the kale. Yeah, the kale is one of those things, like, um... You can actually buy like ready prep kale that yes. comes in like yeah. the ribbons, and that's what this is. Okay. It actually comes already okay. shredded to them. you. Yes. Which is another, I mean, sometimes people are really fearful of the greens, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They look at the greens in the store and they look, oh, it looks beautiful. I've got no idea what to right. do with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Mostly with your greens, yeah. cut really thin, just saute them in like, you know, a little bit of oil or just steam them a tiny bit, mm -hmm. good to go. And then you just put it all together and that's then it's what we're going to do. And then it's put it all together. together. So what we're going to do is like, I mean, obviously that one's more layered, mm -hmm. but realistically speaking, cauliflower rice goes in, sweet potatoes And look at all in. the different colors. We know we're oh, supposed yeah. to eat colors, but it's so hard to figure out exactly how to do that. As Mel puts this together, I want to remind everybody that you can buy so many of these things on the Whole Foods Market bar, chopped yeah. up, ready to go, uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'm allergic to that, prep. That's, that's where style. I don't have the line. So you can pick up these things, yeah. and you can get this great tasting healthy food that's at home. Amazing. And we can't wait to greet Chef Mel at the new Whole Foods Market uh -huh. at University Parkway, January 31st, still the goal? January 31st. Oh, oh, see you. I drive by there every day. I can't wait to see you. All right. Sheba, we will see you again tomorrow. Yes, you will. Nice treat for us. We look forward to that. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the Suncoast view. All right.